Hey guys, uh, I want to make a video here on connecting rod bearing installation. Uh, this particular project I'm working on is a Farmall C tractor and I'm doing an engine rebuild in frame on it. I'm to the point now where I'm doing connecting rod installation. Um, so I'm going to try and show you what I do. This is, I marked ahead of time, you can see the one little indentation there, it's hard to focus. This is the number one bearing cap, making sure to keep everything in the same place it came out. The reason this tractor came in is it was knocking and ends up being cylinder one and cylinder three had bad connecting rod bearings causing extra play in there. Um, so the first thing I did is use this plastic gauge um, which is just a thin you can see it there thin plastic material that you break off a piece place it in the cap and then torque that down on the sorry on the crankshaft and when you remove it it'll give you this little guide I cannot get anything to focus this little guide um, of how much squish, for lack of a better term, that you want. And based on that, you'll compare that to your specifications for the engine, and you'll know how far out of specification your bearing is. Mine were two thousandths, too much play, and so I got lucky and found these two thousandths bearings it just will not focus. Well, there are two thousandths anyways. So let's get back to it. Here's the installation process. First thing is to make sure everything's really clean. Um, you don't want any dirt to get underneath the bearing when you're putting it in. Line up the protrusion here in the cap and go ahead and push that in. And you'll hear it if there's any junk under it it'll make kind of a grinding noise when you push that in there. You'll know you need to clean it better. Um, I use brake clean on mine. Next thing, we'll go over to the tractor here. Uh, I've already got the uh, pistons and rods installed in the tractor, which isn't the best way to do it, but in order to get my measurements, I already put the head on, and I don't want to take that back off. So, try and do this with one hand. Slide the top half of your bearing up into the connecting rod. One second here, I'll get that done. I don't know if you can see that, but same thing as with the cap. Just line up that little notch and slide it up in there. I'll show you what that looks like. And then I'm going to take a little bit of oil, clean engine oil. Sorry, one second. Alright, there you go, just a little clean engine oil on my finger. And lightly coat either the journal or each of the bearings themselves and make sure your hands are clean when you do that. Alright, next we're going to pull the again it's hard to do one handed pull the piston down gently to where it meets up with the crank journal and you'll hear it seat completely. And lastly you'll see my notch is on this side of the rod I want to line that up with the notch on the cap so the notches are on the same side. And we'll go ahead and slide that up. Put the castellated nuts on. And I think the spec for this engine is 43 to 47 foot pounds on the connecting rod. Uh, I'm not totally sure on that, but it should be pretty darn close. So I'm going to go ahead and torque those down. 
my torque wrench here. And I like to draw it down evenly. Um, just get one side part of the way and then match that with the other side. You can see here I'm just to where the bolt is flush with the head of the nut. Do the same thing over here. I'll go back to this side. Keep pulling that down. Gotta let set you down for a second. There's one, and two, and as you're working here, make sure to keep checking that everything moves freely. There you go. So that's one down. I'll move on to cylinder two and check to make sure everything moves freely again, and so on. Thanks for watching.